Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Galindo. Welcome to a new series on the My First Car Design for Fusion 360. Uh, we've got here two programs that are open. Um, these are the two main programs we'll probably be using on this project for the next couple of uh, videos. And uh, we've got Fusion on the left and just uh, Adobe Acrobat on the right. I'd like to sh just illustrate that by the end of this series you should have finished a design of your My First Car. Uh, this is a finished assembly here and uh, we won't have a full assembly at the end of the series we will though have a finished car design you can see here a car that's got wings front uh, sorry rear and front then we've got uh, the axle and wheel housing areas we've got a main body or fuselage of our vehicle and then we've also got a canister housing here for the canister to be situated in now, to create this design, um, we're going to just set up our file to start with today, or at least in this lesson. Um, then we're going to use a series of videos uh, and resources, specifically this um, set of engineering drawings here on the right, to go and create our designs. And from this, you'll have a bit of a background knowledge then into how to create your own custom designs. That's the hope. So make sure you're paying attention to the terms that are used and the stages that this goes through. A good example of kind of the stages of this design, which you may need to refer back to when you're creating your own, is the first drawing here. We've got multiple drawings, but the first one's really good. It's a stage overview as titled down here in the title over block. And uh, you can see that it's uh, a stage overview of all the different steps to create the first finished car design. So to get here, we need to start. And to start, we need to create a new file. So back on Fusion, I go to File, New Design. I then immediately go Save, and I need to save this into a new project. So already it's in a location called My First Car. You may not already have this. You'll probably have something completely different. I'm going to start by naming this My First Car, because that is the name of the design I'm creating. I'm then going to expand the location and I'm going to create a new project. This new project is going to be called, for me, my first car. And that's where I would then ask you to continue with your name. For me, it would be Finn Galindo. Click enter. Now, what we want to do is then select this um, project as the project where it's saved. So I click the down arrow and automatically it's selected master. You can see here now the location is my first car in Galindo, master. So that's exactly where I want to save it. Check the name again for typing and spelling. Perfect. Click save. So I've got my first car version zero. And I'm ready now to actually go forward and create my design. I've just used the hide show command, also known as V do the same thing with V and it uh, enables you to visualize components or files or features from your design and turn them on and off. It's a very handy tool. To get started we're going to then start uh, using these drawings to create the first stage. As you can probably guess it's this body stage that will be our first step. However it won't be done in this video. The final thing I want to do in this video is just remind you of a few key locations and tools around Fusion 360. I'm going to use lots of terminology, technical language I like to call it. It's a language which is specific to this area of expertise. So in this program, for example, there's lots of different terms that I'm going to use and you'll need to start getting used to them because it enables us to effectively communicate information by using the same terms. For example, this section up here that I'm highlighting by scrolling my mouse across is the ribbon. The ribbon has multiple options or um, kind of like overviews we can go into. Currently we should be in the model option. And then you can see that we've got specific buttons to press upon. They're housed in something we call panels. Between these kind of dark gray lines we've got a panel that's called create. has options for the creation tools. The modify panel has modify tools. Assemble panel, construct panel, inspect panel, insert, you get the idea. 
often if someone will ask a question I'll go yep you need to press the button um, mirror in the create tool in the create panel sorry or use the um, offset tool in the sketch panel and you'll need to know that I'm talking about a certain tool that's in a certain place thus the technical language is really key very quickly now we've got a browser here everything you do should appear here in saved formats and folders will automatically be created along the bottom we've got our timeline on the right at the top corner we've got our view cube we can use it to rotate and manipulate 3d space obviously it also has highlightable buttons which enable us to always uh, flick it around to the view we want left back and so on and so forth I always like to select home so I'm back in my original view and that's about it don't forget that you've got the show data panel up the top here I've now got two projects which have the word car in my first car my first car finger I'm gonna pin that so it's easy to find next time all right I'll see you in the next video